measure out the appropriate volume of the 6 molar hydrochloric acid stock solution to prepare 250 milliliters of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Prepare the solution by adding approximately 100 milliliters of distilled water to a 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Then pipette the calculated volume of stock 6 molar hydrochloric acid solution into the flask. Now, dilute to the mark with distilled water. Apply parafilm to the flask top and invert and shake to mix the solution. Measure out two portions of sodium carbonate between 0.2 and 0.25 grams. Make sure you record the mass to three digits past the decimal point. Rinse the burette with a little of the hydrochloric acid titrant.
Place the burette in the burette clamp. In this video, the student will perform one titration. In lab, you will perform two or three titrations. Here, the student is preparing one sodium carbonate solution for the one titration that he is going to run. He is dissolving the sodium carbonate in approximately 25 milliliters of distilled water. Make sure that you swirl the Erlenmeyer flask until all of the sodium carbonate goes into solution. Add three drops of methyl purple indicator to each Erlenmeyer flask. When mixed, the Erlenmeyer flask solution should now be bright green. Close the stopcock on the burette. You can put a funnel in the top of the burette to facilitate pouring the titrant into the burette. If you overfill the burette, then place a waste beaker below the burette, open the stopcock, and pour out some of the solution. Your initial reading does not have to be at zero, but you must accurately read the initial volume. Adjust the burette height so you can place the Erlenmeyer flask underneath it. Make sure that you have a wash bottle with distilled water handy. Open the stopcock and begin the titration. At first, you can allow the titrant to pour freely into the Erlenmeyer flask. As you begin to see a color change, you'll want to slow down. Continue to add titrant to the Erlenmeyer flask. Swirl the flask as you do so. You can swirl the flask with one hand while operating the stopcock with your other hand.
Look carefully at the video so that you notice that the titrant level is falling. Notice how the color is changing. As you approach the end point, use the wash bottle to wash down the inside of the Erlenmeyer flask. Some of the titrant will have splashed up onto the sides of the flask, and this allows you to wash that titrant into the solution. You will want to very slowly add titrant to the solution as you approach the end point. Be very careful not to overshoot the end point. Watch as the student very carefully approaches the end point and gets just the right color change. In this case, the final burette reading is 39.70 milliliters.